Welcome in everybody. I'm Liminal Shift. Today we're going to be doing something we haven't done recently in the last couple of weeks, and that's open up Pokemon cards. Um, I promised you I'd be a, mostly a Pokemon and One Piece channel. We of course do dip into some other trading card games like Dragon Ball, Y Schwarz, Disney, um, a lot of different stuff. But lately I've been hitting hard, uh, going hard into One Piece. Um, OP07 released in Japanese, OP06 released in English. So to make it up to you Pokemon lovers, we are going to be opening up the brand new set that released last Friday uh, in English, Temporal Forces. And today I do have two of the Pokemon Center versions of the two ETBs released for the set. Uh, we have Iron Crown over here. Walking Wake over here. And before we get into those, though, I do have four sleeved packs of Astral Radiance. Uh, still searching for, you know, alt arts, big hitters here. So let's uh, start there and see what we get. Hopefully our luck today is decent. I'm going to need to hide the code cards, the uh, the backs of them, so there's no hints as to what's in the pack. I guess I can do the pack trick. All right. Fighting Energy. A Sween Electrode. Super Effective Glasses. Bronzong. Psyduck. Togepi. Magnemite, Ralts. Oh, that is a beautiful Ralts card, isn't it? Got a field of flowers, got, uh, I don't know if that's probably not Mount Fuji in the back, but some sort of mountain in the back behind uh, Ralts. Looking up at the sky, it's just a beautiful spring day there. And we're about to, uh, we're about to hit spring in real life, aren't we? My, uh, my lawn is already causing me problems. Grass growing. Leaves needing to be raked. A Sween Decidui, Reverse, and a Reggie Alecki. Non hollow. So still looking for, well, in Lost Origin, the Giratina Astral Radiance. Still looking for that, uh, was it Palkia? Palkia V Alt Art, I believe. Okay. Four to the front. And still energy. Celine. Perugly. Azelf. Scyther. Eevee. Heracross. Teddy Ursa. Mantine. Reverse Hollow Gallade. And behind that, we do get a Hollow Hasui and Typhlosion. with the tiniest of hands. All right, two more sleeve packs to get through here. Hopefully we can get uh, one hit out of these four, but uh, that would be right along par for the odds, but. We'll see what happens. All right. Fire, Cricketune, Spicy Seasoned Curry, Bisharp, Chetot, Magnemite, Teddy Ursa, a 
Hasween Sneasel, Mistrevis, Reverse Oshawott, and behind him, nice, you got a full art Iridia, or Irida, excuse me. And uh, yeah, that is a cool looking card. Uh, I do like the, the tree and sky behind her. Um, cool outfit, got some wind going. Uh, I, actually, not not too familiar with that character. I'm trying to place where she is in the games, but um, y'all know. So it is nice to have a full art come out. Not bad at all for four packs. Got an actual hit. And let's go for our last pack of Astral Radiance, and then we'll rip into those Temporal Forces. I have seen a, a little bit of that new set opened. Um, looks like you know the top five plus cards are going to be the uh, uh, Paradox Pokemon. Iron Crown is the big hit as the alt art. And last I looked, the Iron Crown alt art is uh, the first card from the set to climb over $100. Now, keep in mind, the set just released. Prices are going to be going wonky all over the place. Um, but as of, you know, just a few days ago, I don't think there was any card over $60. And now that Iron Crown is over $100, so... Looks like right now that is going to be the hit of the set. I guess we'll uh, we'll see as the next couple, two, three weeks co goes through. And uh, we see where those prices end up. All right, Drifloon, Psyduck, Togepi. That's kind of a little flashback to the first pack. Magnemite. <laughs> Getting all the dupes. Ralts. Can we get uh, maybe another hit? Probably not. Reverse Mamoswine and <laughs> non hollow Mamoswine. All right, all right. All right, and that'll do it for our Astral Radiance. Uh, let me get these over to the side here. And yeah, we did get a nice hit in the Irida. those over there for now which of these are we going to open up first um iron crown's the star so let's start with walking wake let's see what he gets us let's take a look at the box here real quick so this is the pokemon center version has some extra goodies This one is going to have the uh, the Flutter Main promo. There's going to be, should be two of them. One with a Pokemon Center stamp and uh, the regular one without that you can find in the regular version of the ETBs as well. And the Pokemon Center version is going to come with, I was almost going to say 12 packs, but it looks like 11. Uh, yeah, 11. And then, you know, the normal extra goodies that come in the ETB, so... Let's get in here and see what we got. Oh, there we go. All right, we do have our set booklet. Just shows off some of the cards from the set. And this is pretty brand new, so may as well show you, uh, let y'all see some of the better cards here. There's a lot of art rares. Um, I really do like the Deerling and the Sawsbuck, although I, I do complain they only show three seasons, and there should be four for, for those characters. Um, there's a cool Litten AR card there. Let's see. Do-do-do. Uh, Oh, there's a cutie fly one. That's kind of cool. That is a cool uh, Arbok one with the uh, Toucanon. And if y'all didn't know, uh, Toucans in real life are snake hunters. They, they can and will eat snakes. 
So I'm not sure if the Arbok is going for the two cannon or if the two cannon is going to win that one out. There we have uh, one of the ARs that everybody is going for. It's the Ghastly. And there is a uh, an alt art of a trainer, Morty, that has a Gengar in it. Although this Ghastly has Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar. And a very frightened Meowth trying to hide from them. Although it looks like he's been found out. Uh, this is a, a cool Chatot AR. Or, uh, sorry, illustration rare in English. Uh, art rare in Japanese. And it has uh, little secrets in it. There's uh, two sets of birds there on these wires that, that end up being like musical, uh, the musical scale. As you can see, there's like a treble clef there. Um, the top, or yeah, the top one is supposed to be Chitat's Cry. And then the bottom one is the, uh, the sound that's made when you heal your Pokemon uh, in the game. Bum, 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 bum. Um, so that's really kind of a cool Easter egg in that one, especially with Chitat's mimic abilities. Got a weird Drampa there. And then we get into full arts of Paradox Pokemon, some full arts of trainers. Do like a uh, area there. Pretty cool. And then over here we start getting into the uh, the big alt art. So this is the number one card currently in the set. That Iron Lee's alt art there. Or no. It's one of these. It's either Iron Crown or Iron Leaves. I may be getting them mixed up. But one of those is the, the top card. Uh, Raging Bolt's currently the second one. Let's see. There's the... Uh, the Morty alt art with the Gengar. And yeah, got some golds in there too. So hopefully we'll be seeing some of those cards in today's opening. Maybe not. <laughs> All depends on luck. All right, let's get in here. Okay, so there is our regular promo. Fluttermane. Uh, brick of energies put that off to the side what else do we have in here we got a code card have... there is our pokemon center version of the uh the promo and that is badly off center that is th way thick on the right um so boo to that <laughs> take the wrong box to open but I really wish they would fix English print quality. It, it just it sucks so much to have a card you want turn out wonky, um, especially when you're paying good money for it. So anyway, got those two promos there. Let's see, got your uh, dividers. Here are the sleeves. Walking Wake version. usual damage uh, status indicators, dice, and here are our 11 packs. All right, got those out. Let's uh, get all this trash to the side, declutter our screen here. All right, good enough. There are the four pack arts. And let's go ahead and get into it. In this era, the code cards don't mean anything. Can't tell if you got a hit or not just by looking at them. So that uh, that's nice. Four to the front. Uh, get this stuff out of the way too. 
makes too much noise. <laughs> oh, did I do? Oh. Yeah, I screwed up because you're not supposed to. There's no card trick. <laughs> uh, okay, so four back to the back. Sorry about that. All right. C dot. Totodile. Deerling. P dove. Iron Treads, Buddy Buddy Poffin, I heard that's a good playable card, Zara Aura, Reverse Beldum, Reverse Malal, and I'm going to sleeve up the reverses after the video, it's going to take too long because there's two in every pack, and then we do have a Hollow Maridon. Hollows are guaranteed in every pack. Uh, usually you get two reverses, of course, unless there's a, there's a hit that takes its place. But that is basically the lowest or the minimum guarantee in a pack is what we just pulled. Two reverses and a hollow. No pack trick. Oh, let me start off with a Pikachu looking up. Ghastly. Elgium. Well, that's Tomokazu, Tomokazu Kamiya art, obviously. <laughs> With all the trippy uh, trippy designs. Sizzlipede. Bolton. Mudsdale. Oh, almost skipped a card there. With Cypher Maniac's Code Breaking. Reverse Grubbin. And we get our first illustration rare of the set in Drampa. And uh, this may be a little of an older reference that uh, a lot of you may not get, but if, if you've never seen it, it's probably worth a watch anyway because it is a classic. Um, Drampa always reminds me of the dragon from Never Ending Story. Uh, it's a movie, kids' movie from the 80s. Also got a sequel. But if you haven't seen that, uh, what was the name? Falcor, I think, was the name of the dragon from that. I think Drampa was was directly uh, influenced by that movie, but you'd have to ask whoever created it. And behind Drampa, we have a hollow for alligator. So Drampa is my first hit of this new set. Pineco, Mawile, Metatite, Turtonator, Sharpedo, Metagross, Rose Raid, Reverse Mincino, Reverse Keldeo, and a Coridon EX. Our first EX card. It's kind of weird how the I, don't know, I know I know it's in the imaginary world and all, but uh, just just for an example, Drampa is known. Um, if its trainer, like its its kid trainer, gets bullied, Drampa supposedly goes to the bully's house and burns the house down. I don't know about the logistics of that in that world. Does Dr does Drampa go to jail? Um, you know, bullying is is it's horrible, but it's also very very commonplace. So you know, any random kid with a Drampa, houses are going to get burned down. <laughs> Um, that, that can't possibly just be given a pass just cause it's how Dram Paul does, right? It's just kind of weird. All right. Merrill, Golet, Dunsparce, Sawsbuck, 
Perilous Jungle. Yeah, I don't know if I'd step into that weird looking jungle either. Unpheasant. Great Tusk Reverse. Hoot Hoot Reverse. And a Roaring Moon Hollow. Hoot Hoot, Beldum, Breloom, Roly Coley, Keldeo, Excadrill, Ooh, it's challenging you, Delmize, Delcaddy Reverse, Perilous Jungle Reverse, and Drampa Hollow. And we are kind of due for another hit now, hopefully. So far, this set seems to have lower hit rates than previous sets, but, you know, it's kind of too early to tell at the same time. But uh, I saw a case of booster boxes get open without a single alt art being pulled from those. And then, uh, you know, some, several ETBs were open after that. And it seemed like all the hits were coming from the ETBs. But you know how it goes. It's per batch. Uh, who knows what batch is going to have the goodies. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to say booster box is bad, ETB is good. Because just it depends on the luck of, of which one you get, which batch you get. Some, some cases are going to be great. Some are going to be less. Litten. Sent a Scorch. Palafin, Airy, Reverse Maridon, Reverse Dunsparce, and we do have another hit, and it's going to be a Full Art Scizor. And that is looking pretty sweet. Cool texturing in the back there. Scizor is a, a cool looking Pokemon. I like his design. And that's our first full art, second, uh, well, third if you count the EX hit of the ETB. We got one illustration rare, one EX, and a full art. Can we get an alt art? An SIR special illustration rare? Heatmore, Yamper, Toracat, Grubbin, Electivire. Sinchino, Future Boost Energy Capsule, Reverse Tranquil, Reverse Great Tusk, and a Hollow Whimsicott. Alright, four packs left on our first ETB. I would hope for at least one more hit out of this box. Preferably an SIR. We'll see. Shroomish. Lickitung. Slugma. Solosis. Colossal. Boxed Order. That kind of made me hungry. I don't know what's in that box really, but just thinking about a box of food <laughs> right now. Screamtail. Uh, Giraffe Rig, Reverse, Lickitung Reverse, and Melmetal Hollow. Starting out with a Frost Moth. Knocked out. Croconaw. Licky Licky. Great Tusk. Delcaddy. Explorer's Guidance. Totodile Reverse. And actually, I'd, I'd 
I'm glad I got the reverse of this card. Um, alligators very much swim like that uh, on the surface. Um, normally they're a little bit further under, so you just see like bits of their eyes and snout peeking out, maybe some of their back. Um, if you're ever in alligator infested waters, keep just keep an eye out for something that maybe looks like a log. And I don't know. Steer clear of them. Just in case. Could be a log. Lots of logs in water. But some of them are gators. <laughs> Flutter main hollow. That's a cool looking card with the colors. Okay, Scyther, Skitty, Electabuzz, Bramblin, Iron Valiant, Sableye, Rescue Board, Shroomish Reverse, Zara Aura of Reverse, and a Walking Wake EX, which does count as another hit, although a light one. Matang, Carcoal, Grottle. It's a cool card with Finizen jumping out of the water. Middle of the ocean with a nice, nice daylight sky behind it. Kind of makes me want to go to a beach right now. Iron Hands, Morty's Conviction, Shift Tree, The Dumb Spark. And yes, we get another illustration rare this time with a charge bug. And uh, if I could be mistaken, but isn't that a shiny charge bug? Maybe not. Maybe not. I have to go look. But it's cool that we get another illustration rare. And then behind that is a hollow bramble ghast. All right, that uh, ETB, I think, treated us pretty well. Uh, no alt arts, but we did get at least three big hits and two minor ones, two EXs, the two IRs, and our full art Caesar. So let's see if this uh, next ETB can beat that. Or tie it at least. And go from there. This one's looking a little tight, so let me let me cheat. Alright. And this one mostly has the same stuff you saw in the uh, previous one. Uh, the art art of course is different, different Pokemon, different color scheme. But uh, same stuff, pretty much. All right, this one's going to have a different promo. This time it's going to be the Iron Thorns. There's our regular version of it. There's a code card. What else do we get in here? Brick of Energy. There's the Pokemon Center stamped one. Pokemon Center stamp is there, and again, we're thick on the right. Okay. Gotta love uh, quality control. You don't see that stuff in one piece. I'm sorry. Pokemon, get your stuff together. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the, uh, the different uh, sleeves that come in this set. I'm, I'm digging the, man, that background color is freaking awesome. 
compared with that green, that light, light green. I like it. And then the only other difference is going to be the, uh, the dividers here. It's looking cool. And let's get to our packs. off to the side and again we're hoping for the same number of hits or more than the previous one although <laughs> it's never a guarantee uh, I have opened up uh, you know a $50 plus EPB and only got one EX in it before um, I've seen others get about the same now and then so um, there's definitely bad ETBs and you know go to ETBs I think the first one we we hit there is kind of pretty much average maybe a little little better than average it was a good one Screamtail Zara Aura Iron Valiant Reverse Delcaddy Reverse Sita Scorch and a Hollow Mag Cargo. Let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Merrill, Golet, Elgium, Meltan, Sharpedo, Metagross, Rose Raid, Maridon Reverse. Our first gold card, we do get Walking Wake EX, looking all glittery and shiny. The, uh,. I don't know. The gold cards look okay in, in this new set. Uh, I do like Walking Wake. He's pretty cool. And behind him is going to be a Hollow Iron Thorns. But I think that is uh, among the better hits we've gotten so far. Maybe the Full Art Caesar is close. Uh, but I'm betting the gold is is the better hit there you uh you saw the prices on your screen probably so you already know and that is our first actual hit from the new etb not bad but still not an alt art or sir all right, Azamaril, Yamper, Grubbin, Metacham, Sharpedo, Metagross, Rose Raid, a lot of, lot of familiar faces here, Tranquil Reverse, Haunter Reverse, and a Relicanth Hollow behind that. Nuzleaf, Mancino, Rockruff, looking cute, Litten, Caldeo, Walking on Water, Excadrill, Delmise, it's probably Delmise, excuse me, it's not uh, one I've seen too often, Giraffe Rig, Reverse, Airy Reverse and a Coridon EX. Second hit, but a mild one.
Giraffe Rig, Rosalia, Cutie Fly, Drillber, Happy Diggin, Morty's Conviction, Bianca's Devotion, Shiftry, Reverse Knockdown, Reverse Rabska, and Walking Wake EX. Which, uh, interestingly enough, is uh, dupe for dupe for the two the two EXs we got from the first box. We also got a Walking Wake uh, along with a Coridon. Tranquil, Mr. Mime, Raichu, Aww, sleepy right you again. He's still above the ground though, isn't he? With his shadow being cast, so he's like falling backward onto the grass, I guess. Victini, Caldeo, Iron Jugulus, Delmise, Totodaw Reverse, Bolton Reverse, and Whimsicott Hollow. Pikachu, Scyther, Sizzlepeed, Sizzlepeed, Iron Treads, Buddy Buddy Poffin, Zara Aura, Great Tusk, Reverse, uh, Meryl Reverse, and Iron Valiant Hollow behind that. This set also has the return of Ace Spec cards, or Ace Spec cards, and um, I don't know, I thought we would have at least hit one. We're not done yet, though. Some of the Ace Spec cards have good value. Shroomish, lick a tongue, charge a bug, and yeah, that's regular charge a bug, but screen. So the other one was definitely a shiny one, the the orange looking one, or well, yellowish looking one. Slugma, Electivire, Sinchino, Great Tusk, Shroomish, Reverse. There we go with a. Uh, special illustration rare our first alt art gouging fire ex that is definitely in the top five cards of the set uh it's on your screen as far as which one and how much but that is a cool looking card that's a version of uh, a paradox version of Entei from ancient times uh, in an ancient jungle it's looking pretty cool behind him is a hollow for alligator Let's go ahead and get this in the top loader. And a lot of people bang the, the top loader to get the card to follow the bottom, which it, it always scares the heck out of me because that's going to be maybe a big impact at the bottom. Uh, so I don't use that method. I use a, a wussier method, I guess, but it's a little little nicer. Just doing this at the bottom of the top loader creates vibrations, which slowly brings the card down and into place. And you can kind of play with uh, with it on the sides to get it uh, centered. Actually, it normally works better than that, too. Maybe it's just because I'm doing it in front of the camera for y'all. But anyway, that's uh, how I gently get the cards at the bottom of the top loader instead of banging them on the table.
All right, we got three packs left to go, and, you know, we can still get hits. Who knows? See what we get. Bronzor. Mudbray. Ghastly. Finizen. Electivire. Sableye. Chopping on some gems. Sinchino. Doing its job, looking cute. The Dunsparce. The Reject. <laughs> Reverse. Uh, Finizen Reverse. And Maridon Hollow. I never did sleeve up that uh, for Alligator Hollow. Alright. Gotta make sure your shiny mons are protected. I guess I shouldn't say shiny. Uh, well, shiny cardboard mons. <laughs> All right, Solosis, Skitty, Electabuzz, Bramblin, Delcaddy, Explorer's Guidance, Iron Hands, Ekans Reverse, Excadrill Reverse. And we do get another hit in the in the CTB, a full art explorer's guidance. Looks like it uh, belongs to the ancient. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Looks like he's uh, maybe he's in a cave, or maybe it's just nighttime. He's got that portable light there. A lot of equipment. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so in our last box, we've gotten two EXs so far, a full art, a gold, and a special illustration rare. So already a better ETB than the first one. We do have one more pack left though, and this could be anything, probably nothing, but could be anything. Dunsparce. Snom, Pikachu, Scyther, Great Tusk, Morty's Conviction, Shift Tree, Reverse Morty, Reverse Carvana, and a Hollow Drampa to wrap it up. But you know, those two ETBs were pretty good. Can't complain. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty good start to uh, a new set. I don't think I'll be going hard for this set um, with one piece prices being the way they are. That's taking up most of my funds. Um, but I, of course, I still will do Pokemon. I have plenty of older Pokemon stuff to open. Um, this probably won't be the last Temporal Forces you see from me, but um, it, let's just say it's a good start and we'll come back to it and see if we can't get uh, some more of those SIRs. But just to recap, we did get uh, the same two EXs from both boxes, Walking Wake and Coridon. Uh, for uh, illustration rares, we got these two, the, the shiny Charge of Bug and Drampa. For full arts, we got Caesar and Explorer's Guidance from the ETBs. And we did get Irida earlier from the uh, Astral Radiance packs. We have one gold card in Walking Wake. And then our star of the show is going to be this uh, special illustration rare, Gouging Fire EX. So until next time, stay safe, stay happy, have fun, do something cool, maybe rip some pats, get some hits. Until next time, I'm Liminal Shift, and I will see y'all.